Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laptop. Today I'm going to show you how you can perfectly sublimate a sequin pillow just in time for Valentine's Day. Of course, I'll walk you through the whole process and everything I use will be listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Okay, so for this project, I'm starting off in canva.com so that I can create my design. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit create a design go to custom page and I'm going to enter 11 by eight and a half because I'm using eight and a half by 11 paper, but I want it to be landscape. Okay. So whatever paper size you're using, go ahead and enter that here. And we're just going to go ahead and hit, um, create design. So this is going to be pretty simple. Okay. But I am using Canva pro. So if you don't have Canva pro and you want to try it for free for 30 days, I will have a link for you in the description box of this video. So first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and search through my uploads. I got this. I have so many stuff, so much stuff. So I'm just going to search through my uploads and find the picture that I want to use for this project. I, I decided on my picture, so I have this picture, but I don't want this background, right? So I'm just going to make sure the picture is selected, hit edit photo, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the background. And of course, the remove background feature is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, uh, you can, I'll have a free 30 day trial link in the description box of this video. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead over to my elements and I'm going to type in heart right here under frames it'll pop up so i want the heart frame and they have a couple other different shapes too as well but this is the one i want right so i'm just going to go ahead and drag my picture in there and to adjust this i'm just going to go ahead and double click it and drag it down or you know position it to how i want but that looks perfect now if we leave it like that like it doesn't it doesn't really look like a heart or anything right you can't really tell so what i'm going to do is grab this heart shape no actually no i'm not i lied i lied <laughs> why is it it doesn't want to delete all right let me go ahead okay so i'm going to grab that same heart frame that i just used and i'm going to go ahead and type in valentine background so um they have some different uh backgrounds right here that i can use i'm just going to just go through and pick one uh, let me see or also <clears throat> you could grab some from creative fabrica like some valentine digital paper or whatever digital paper that you want from here um creative fabrica is like a monthly sub subscription thing and you can just go ahead and download anything that you want as much as you want and you have like the commercial rights and all the other stuff to use so uh yeah creative fabrica is definitely super bomb to have oh this is cute and uh if you don't have creative fabrica i don't know why <laughs> but i'll definitely leave the link for you in the description box so you can try it out as well um they have like a lot oh those lips are cute but i really like this red one so i'm going with this one so i'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that into the background same way we did the picture but and i'm going to double click it and adjust it just a little bit because i want like more of the hearts and stuff to be shown okay that looks good now i'm just going to size that super big i want this pretty big on my pillow and i'm going to go ahead and move it to the back so i'm right clicking and i'm hitting send to the back i'm going to take this heart and then just kind of match it up it's not the same heart because why is it not lining up hold on let me see oh yeah i used to that's not the same heart okay here it is so i need this background so i'm just going to right click it and hit detach image and i'm just going to drop it into the correct one delete that 
And now, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yep, yeah, see, now that fits in perfectly. Let me make it a little bigger. Okay. Oh, that is so cute. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I could probably even just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, awesome. So, yes, I absolutely love this. So, I'm going to take both of these. I'm just going to group it together. So, now whatever I do to one, I do to both, okay? And I'm just going to make this as tall as it can get without being cut off. And that looks like it might be cut off just a little bit. Okay. Perfect, perfect perfect now we can go i mean you can mirror this if you want but i mean it's just a picture no words so i mean you know i don't really think it matters but you know whatever don't forget to mirror your image if you need to okay so now we're done with that i mean like that's the design and we're just going to go ahead over to save hit download and you want to make sure you download with the transparent background because we don't want this white okay we just want the heart in the picture and you just download it now the transparent background is the Canva Pro feature so you should definitely get Canva Pro if you don't have it already and the free 30-day trial will be linked in the description box of this video so let's go download this print this out and then we'll finish off the project okay so here's our project all printed out and um, here's our sequin pillowcase. It's one of those reversible sequin pillowcases. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure all the sequins are going in the correct direction. And when you're doing these reversible sequin pillows, you want to print on the white side. You could also do silver, um, but you want to print on either the white or the silver not the colorful side okay and these do come in a bunch of different colors so I went ahead and cut my print out just so I can uh, get a better view on the positioning you know making it center and whatnot and I'm just gonna go ahead and flip that face down and secure it with some heat tape onto the sequins and then we're going to press this at 400 degrees for 45 seconds and I'm covering it with some paper now when you press this either you want to do a high temp in few seconds or more seconds in a lower temp right you don't want to do both so I don't want to do 400 degrees for 60 seconds I would do 385 for 60 seconds you know because um if you do a high temp in um, the full 60 seconds, you can risk burning and melting your sequins and then they won't flip, okay? So I did 400 degrees for uh, 45 seconds and look how amazing this turned out. This is awesome. Now I do have an older tutorial showing you how you can do like a full sublimation print. Like if you wanted this whole thing printed and not just this one area there and I'll go ahead and link that and you can watch that tutorial but yeah this is like very popular um, super easy to do and came out awesome so this is actually a pillowcase but I'm not going to be using this for a pillowcase okay I actually ended up turning this into like an embroidered shirt design so make sure you stick around for that tutorial but this is the result you guys um, happy Valentine's Day is this something that you guys are going to be making you know the pink and white ones the red and white ones the silver and white ones all those are like super cute um, Valentine's Day colors you could do a bundle like do the red white and pink or something you know you know just just be creative as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time I'll see you later